Okay, okay, gentlemen, you gentlemen, just, just, just back off, please. Just, just yield now. Let me take, you know, uh, let me take that question to Pratim Ranjan Bose about the questions of the Chief Minister. Mr. Dev, if you allow me, I have a question to ask to R.P. Singh before that. R.P. Singh, Mr. Dev also made the point that it is only opposition leaders who are still being raided. What about those who have since joined your party and no raids happen on them? That's still a question mark on the investigation. It may not be any, uh, you know, it may not answer the crimes of somebody else. But that's still okay. a question. What's still washing machine? Thank you. Mukul Roy, Mukul Roy, what's the washing machine? Now you don't talk about Mukul Roy now. So, Vendu, let's talk about Mukul Roy. No, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Yes. Mukul Roy, what's the washing machine? You won't talk about, you won't talk about Rajat Mujumdar. Will you talk about Rajat Mujumdar? Will you talk about Madan Mitra? You won't talk about all those guys. You won't, you won't talk about Sergeant Boss. You won't talk about that, that guy. So, the issue is very clear. That all cases have been pursued. This case has been pursued on the behest of the court. Okay. Court I want to go across to the more important question I'm dealing with because we've dealt with the questions over the ED CBI investigations many times. Pratim Ranjan Bose, I'm coming to you as somebody who looks at Bengal politics very closely. There have been scams that have rocked Mamta Banerjee government in the past too. No actions have been taken in most of them. This is one where they've been forced to act. And given the stature of Partha uh, Chatterjee, do you believe this is the gravest crisis of credibility for Mamta Banerjee herself? That she cannot ev evade the questions on this case? Thanks, Shivani. There are two ways. Number, number one is uh, no one can really claim that they didn't know about it because all the uh, sound and fury that we are hearing, it is about 2012. In 2012, there was an examination that was called off, later scrapped. Again, 2014, uh, uh, the examination was held, but there were a lot of irregularities. Some people from 2012 were recruited or not. I mean, the court has asked for all those details. So this is basically an indefensible case. I mean, mm. what will come out in the court is a different issue, but insofar as the public uh, you know, in uh, perception is concerned, this is an mm. indefensible case and has nothing to do. Since if you look at the timeline, there was no opposition at that time, so uh, there, nothing to do with these politics at that particular. Yeah, but moment. what about the question of Mamta Banerjee? No, uh, it is like this. I mean, I, I'll, I'll not say whether Mamta Banerjee was aware or not because that is I cannot uh, do the fortune telling, but I can say it, put it this way. Let's, uh, you know, first, if anything happens hmm. in the cabinet of Mr. Modi, hmm. Mr. Modi has a responsibility, hmm. number one. Number two, if assume a corporate uh, entity and uh, something big is happening and the top management has no clue about it, it talks about the inefficiency of the top management. Right. Now, you, you can... So, complicit or inefficient? Anirban, that's the question, isn't it? Either ways, it looks bad on Mamta Banerjee. Either you knew, you turned your eye away, nobody can say whether she's personally involved or not, but that looks bad. If you didn't know, then you were inefficient to run a cabinet. That looks even worse. The real plain speak of today's evening is that irony died another time the moment R.P. Singh started sermonizing us on propriety and principles and ideology regarding corruption. I mean, you started your uh, show with a person called Shubhendu Dikari telling us that this camp was led by him or her and this went on on on. This is the racket, that is the racket. But this is the same very Shubhendu Dikari who is pointing his finger to the time when he was himself within the Trinamool Congress. Did he say a single st a word at that time? No. I'll take that to our political representatives. Anirban, I asked you a different just, question. Just a minute, just As a, a political minute, just a analyst, minute. if this was no, any other government, any other chief minister, would the natural question not be, what about the CM's responsibility? See, the natural why, questions why are rarely asked say? nowadays. The natural question would have been, how come the so BJP let him is sermonizing let him respond. on credibility? How can the BJP give a speech on credibility, propriety and No, no, principle? this question is not that coming is from BJP question. alone. 
surely the public in West Bengal must be wondering what was happening Mamta Banerjee, under Mamta Banerjee's nose. But and what, look at all of these scams. The, public... the poorest of the poor who are looking for jobs yes, even I am, are suffering. Even I, am, even I am asking the same question that look at the alleged scams hmm. of Sharoda and Naroda whose investigation has been going on for uh, 8 and 10 years respectively now. Where are the charge sheets? Where are the raids on any leader who has joined the BJP? Anirban, all of those questions are taken. By the BJP. But let's not pretend like the, the head, head of the cabinet does not have any questions to answer. Surely. Because then that's well, the precedent uh, for everybody well, else too. The head of the cabinet herself is somebody who will answer the question to the people at large. She has been answering the questions to the people for the last 30 years of her political career. And we all know what the people in response have said. Okay. Let's not but get Mr. Dev, that. on that if point we... that Anirban Banerjee is making, it's not just about public support. It is about political propriety too. Now, uh, there has to be a response by Mamta Banerjee on what was going on in her, in her own cabinet, surely. And that is what exactly she did yesterday. Which she is? sacked her minister. Now that is why I am telling you, that is why I am telling you, that can you show a single instance where in any BJP rule state, BJP has taken action against any of their ministers or chief ministers who were alleged in multiple scams. But you would no. have alleged the, the same if no. this was the BJP and, rule and, state. And, and you, for, you, please, please. As the please, opposition, that's the job please, of the please, opposition. Let me and, yeah. and, 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 and I would further like to say hmm. and repeat that the question that the question of honesty and integrity of Mamta Banerjee is unquestionable. I repeat, it cannot stay and unquestionable when Mamta something Banerjee like this is, is happening, can it? It is unquestionable. Yes, I am again repeating, it is unquestionable. And you see, these allegations hmm. were going on for years together. Several allegations against several leaders, but you could see. That Mamta Banerjee was voted for a third time mm. in Bengal. And BJP leaders who are making these allegations, who are coming in batches every week, mm. were thrown away from Bengal by the people of Bengal. Yeah, but the and opposition, the collective Banerjee opposition also tells us that elections are not the term. only barometer of your credibility. Pratim Ranjan Bose no, wants to come in, then I'll give R.P. Singh a response. R.P. Singh, I'll give you time, please. The, Pratim Ranjan Bose. The, the, the propriety, propriety. The question Hello. of propriety, hmm. you will not learn from BJP. No, we no, you don't have to learn, learn from, from the BJP. BJP. You can set your own example. That's all. Yes, Pratim Ranjan Bose. Ah, we know. And that is, and yeah. that is what we did. Uh, okay. That is what we did yesterday. Okay. Call if something has been happening for 10 years. And since 2000, I remember in 2019 election, during the uh, election, these people were camping near the Calcutta Press Club. And then again, they are uh, on the demonstration. No one can, you see, you have to be a really blind to not to know that something wrong was going on. And secondly is, obviously you are right. It is that optics, a lot of things were happening, but you see a, a, a one minister I, uh, is also, I think at least five, six ministers are, are involved in different things, are under scanner of that. One minister at least is on bail, cabinet minister. Now, in all these cases, you could blame BJP. And here, I must put it on record that the delay in Sarda Narda cases has obviously taken, you know, sort of uh, given a leeway. But that doesn't mean that I will, I can claim propriety of honesty and anything. Okay. You see. Singh, so, can you respond here, to what Mr. Deb is saying?